we came over here so that we can agree mutually on the terms of reference. We are going to have some agreement of some sort, a working agreement. It is in that agreement that possibly Kenya Kwanza may first and foremost put in their responses to what Azmio has raised and also if they have their own issues, their own counter terms, then those can be put in there and Azmio can respond. At the end of the day, we have to look at what law needs to be amended. Number two, uh, are there any policy decisions which we can recommend to the executive to implement to solve some of the problems facing the country? Yes, sir. Uh, as far as we are concerned, we are doing these negotiations at arm's length. Neither side is taking an upper hand against the other. We are doing it equally on equal terms. One reason these uh, talks were called is because of the demonstrations that were going over in the country where we had destruction to property, to some extent loss of lives, and some easiness to our economy. So as we go on, it would be our position that Azmio should actually not carry on these demonstrations until the outcome of the talks is laid on the table. Yes. Uh, as we finish. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, this was supposed to come up not to, in today's meeting, but in the next meeting which we are going to announce to you, we have to discuss that as an issue. Uh, exactly what is our seat of talks? On what basis do we anchor ourselves? So as we talk, we have to see if we are parliamentary, then we are within the confines of the law and standing orders in parliament. If we are extra parliamentary, we will have to find a legal basis upon which we can carry on the talks without uh, breaching our laws. Let's hear from a lady. We have, have <coughs> uh, the position is as I said, there is a legal position as it prevails today. That's the de jure one. In which case we are saying, if you look at the paperwork, Jubilee is still part of Azimio. But there is also the de facto position. And de facto position is what prevails today. Is that in all matters of fact, Jubilee has pulled out of Azmio. What is awaited is formalization. That is one uh, argument. KUP actually is through the same process. And you saw it yesterday. It is you guys who showed the party uh, leaders saying they are already done. They are moving on to Kenya Kwanza. If that is the position and for purposes of fairness so that uh, all sides are represented, it prevails. But if we say we have to, talk, to, to follow the legal position, then that appears to be it. But in politics, the factual position is actually the most important, especially when it comes to representation. I've explained why, in our view, number one, we feel Honorable Kaidan needs to sit in this committee. The constituencies he represents, and that cannot be challenged. And they also do not have a problem with him. Therefore, that remains the factual position we have on the ground. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I think we've uh, clarified as much as we could in, uh, in, uh, by Friday.
we need to be telling you the actual position as regards that one issue that we have not resolved today. That is, uh, we have just adjourned the talks, we have not suspended them. The reason we have done it is because we need, we need to discuss the issues that have been placed on the table. We need to do further consultations because some of it is actually above us. Um, remember, I, Getoka Burgara, was appointed just the same way as Honorable Kaidan was appointed. I cannot today tell him you're out just the way he can't tell me I'm out. I can't tell him resign just the way he can't also tell me to resign. What is the net effect of this? There is a requirement also to talk to the coalitions, to talk to the appointing authorities as far as this is concerned. This is why we have taken the break, but the talks are not, uh, they are not suspended per se, they are just adjourned. We have said we, we, we are informing, we are communicating on Friday. We give you a near date. And after that, another date is going to be set. Ordinarily, it is the secretariat that sets dates. But now that it's not yet um, promulgated, we have the co-chairs to set the dates and we'll inform you. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Where is my phone? Do you need it? No, you.